So this place is actually located downtown on a nice strip, nice colorful lights here. And one of the worst things that they can do is put a Tarje, a super Tarje right here. So we're gonna make a stop here at Target first before we eat because that's what we do, man. We love Tarje. Man, that looks amazing right there. That's the soft shell crab bow, the side stepper. And like I said, these are husky bows. It's good, huh? Brussels sprouts. Let me get a close up on the Brussels sprouts. Toss it and turn it again. I can't even focus in. So it's like roasted Brussels sprouts. With a honey bacon. Hold on, buddy. Mm. Mm. Yo, that's fire. We put that. Easily a great meal. Nice roasted. Mm. Yo, their Brussels sprouts, flavorful. Very savory, like. They did a really good job on that. The churros are homemade by the owner's mother. Nice. The churros are homemade from the... Churros are homemade. You know what I mean? That's all you got to worry about. You can finish that, babe. I want to get to this. I want to get to this right here. This uh, side stepper, this... Look at this. That just looks amazing. It looks like a video game character just got fried up <laughs> in the Mario video game. But that looks amazing. It looks like it has a nice, great crunch too. Place is about a half hour with traffic away from our hotel, the Hilton LBV. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Nice sriracha sauce on here. Did you hear that crunch? Ultimate crunch. The bow is so fluffy. It's like biting into a fluffy cloud. I'm gonna have the wife taste this side. That's good, huh? It's nice and crunchy, right? Yeah, amazing crunch on it. Super delicious. You can have the rest, cause I love you. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. I guess I'll go for this one. I don't even know what this is. Well, it looks beautiful. This is the next one. I don't even know what this is. I know it has like that that radish in here, that that pink radish. But this fried chicken. All right, fried chicken bow. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Something's giving like that nice onion aromatic in here too. Mm. Avocado, yo. You gotta try this too, man. I'm not even gonna put you on camera. People gonna hear you. Yo, tell me about it. I wish y'all could see her reaction right now. Mm. I love it. Mm -hmm. The side stepper is good with that soft shell. I actually like this more. That one is well, that put in it for this. like avocado, whatever type of like, you know when you bite into an onion, I bite into onions all the time. Not the actual onion taste, but the, the aromatics of it. As soon as you bite into it, the aromatics of that just fills you up. That is fire. That is a great job. You made the drive worth it so far off of those two. So this looks like it is a braised beef. Is it? Is it pork? We got kimchi in here. I think this is beef. 
pork. I don't know. We're going to Could be. I'll, I'll let you know. These are very addicting. Let's try this out. one we had so far is like so different from each other <clears throat> have like different type of like flavor profiles mm. like the wasabi in there that's you don't taste it <laughs> so it's my fault each one is tasting better than the last one it keeps getting better yeah not only does it keep getting better it's like you can appreciate each one That's my favorite one so far. And you say that every time we bite into a new one. <laughs> now they're playing some Michael Jackson. Yo, it keeps getting better and better. All right, next one is the fried chicken bao. So this is the fried chicken bao. Big piece of chicken right here. Look at that, it's real, it's real thick, real sturdy up in here. You know what I mean? Got some arugula too. So let's try this one out next. Cheers. Reaction, right? They're like they're hitting like all the. If you order how we order, it takes you places. Like the soft shell took me places. The next one took me places. It's nothing. These are like so so great. It has like, reminds me of uh, delicious uh, Korean barbecue fried chicken. Mm -hmm. That flavor palette, that's what it reminds me of. So good. It's like different flavors, so flavor profiles on each one so far. Ooh. Good the guy on here? What? In my in my in my in my son's voice, he likes to say, <laughs> what? That looks good too. Let's try this out. <laughs> oh my god. So we had we had five selections. So they were all bangers. Oh, we're good. Oh, they were all bangers. I mean, y'all know me. I would I would I would tell you if I didn't like one of them or not. But they were all bangers. Well, I, Can I have some for your fries? Yeah. Bows alone are just very fun to eat, but they can creep up on you if you don't if you don't watch out. Five of those. Five of those are very savory, like super savory, and I love the different textures on each of them. There's always going to be a soft texture because of the bow, fluffy pillow texture. But man, y'all just got to try that out. I, I couldn't pick one, quite honestly, because they were all freaking good. So we're going to save this for last. This is the homemade churros right here, and this is the rice bowl, three jumbo fried shrimp. They got like the, I call them ramen eggs because it's mad uh, easy in the middle. Look like pickled cucumbers and some caramelized onions and some mushrooms over a bed of rice. Let's try this out next. Am I supposed to mix this up? My wife is tapping out. The over easy egg. Mm. Mm. The rice bowl is good, <clears throat> but it's a bad follow up to them bows because them bows were amazing. I know. Them bows were amazing. The rice, we should have ate first. Yeah. The rice is okay. I mean, the shrimp is good. The fried shrimp is good. But if a place is called Bows Castle, just get the bows. Boom, bam, pow. Get you a bow. Uh, the bow was so damn good. If you had to pick a bow, 
If you had to pick a if you had to pick a bow if your life depended on it, what would you pick? That chicken one. The, the fried chicken. The fried chicken was fire. The um the size that was delicious. But I'm not like it was very like sriracha flavorful, like infused, and I'm not like a fanatic. Like I put sriracha on things. This pepper was cool. I think it looks cool. Um, but in terms of like all the like the other balances have such a person, like all different types of flavors in it. Um, Which one are you going with though? Probably one of the braised pork. Braised pork. The braised pork was amazing too. So I want to say, the, I think it's called Bowser's Buddy. I just didn't get to taste the whole thing, but that's the one that had cream cheese mm. in it. That's your, that's your choice. Well, I don't know. I didn't get to taste that whole thing. Oh. What you so you're saying you want some more? Was like that last part. So either between that or the Fiesta. I'm going to tell you which one I like. I'm gonna have to go with the the fried chicken one. No, no, the, the, the braised pork one. Which one? The one at the kimchi or the last one I had? The, the one that the one at the kimchi. I go with that one. The fried shrimp one. That was good too. Like the fried chicken one. one. The last one, and then the first one will be last. So mm. I, I actually came here for the soft shell crab bao, which that turned out to be good. But man, them, those other ones, man, were like fire, man. That was like, I felt like Bowser just smacked me over the head with flavors on top of flavors with that. Great stuff. If y'all in the Orlando area downtown, this is, uh, this spot will, will knock it out the park with the flavors, man. Let's do the homemade churros next. Go ahead, baby. Homemade churros. Good. I really enjoy dulce de leche. So. Damn. Dulce de leche. So let's end it off with some sweets. I'll do my part. Light and fluffy too. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's fire. <laughs> like some churros are mad thick and chewy. This was still you know why? Because they be sitting out, they be sitting out all day. I feel like they just made this probably minutes ago. Get you the churros too. I'm actually glad we took this drive over here. Well worth it. Well worth it. Come 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 to Bow's Castle, yo. Like amusement park is cool and all, but get out of there. Come to the downtown area. Bow's Castle should be one of your stops. Very good. Anyway. Thank you for joining us. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, share. We'll see y'all on the next episode, all right? Bow.